Here's our 10 most anticipated games that we've been waiting way too long for. Beyond Good and Evil 2. This upcoming open world third person action adventure game is a prequel to the first game in the series. First teased at UB Days in 2008, it was almost a decade before the game got officially announced at Ubisoft's E3 conference in 2017. One year later we got a cinematic trailer and since then it's been radio silence. With plans of a massive open world, we hope we get to experience it soon, or at all really. Roger, Uma. Half the crew is dead drunk in my sick bay. After eating your miraculous space chili. Splinter Cell game. The iconic Sam Fisher. It's been over eight years since the last Splinter Cell game, Blacklist, was released. That's given us plenty of time to think about all the possibilities that the next gen technology could bring to the franchise and all the amazing stealth levels that could be created. With recent reports of a new Splinter Cell being greenlit by Ubisoft, that gives us hope that we'll be able to play as Sam Fisher once again sooner rather than later. Hogwarts Legacy Battling magical beasts, learning new spells and potions, and uncovering the mysteries that Hogwarts offers sounds absolutely amazing. Hogwarts Legacy was slated to release in 2021 after being revealed in 2020. After getting delayed to sometime in 2022, we've been patiently waiting for more information and the very important gameplay trailer. We just can't wait. So exciting. Grand Theft Auto 6. With GTA 5 coming out in 2013 for PS3 and Xbox 360, then again in 2014 for PS4 and Xbox One, you would think that a new game in the franchise would happen eventually, right? Well, with GTA 5 releasing again in 2022 for next-gen consoles, I wouldn't hold your breath while waiting for GTA 6. Rumors are flying around everywhere about when the next game will come out and where it will take place. One thing we do know is that when GTA 6 does eventually release, it will be well worth the wait. Skull and Bones. With a mixture of Sea of Thieves and Assassin's Creed Black Flag, Skull and Bones showed us gameplay in 2017 that looked like the game was ready to go. With delay after delay after delay, we started to wonder if the game had been sent to Davy Jones' locker, never to be heard from again. Luckily, Ubisoft has confirmed that the game is still in development and will be launched sometime in the fiscal year of 2023. Dead Island 2. This upcoming action role-playing game is the sequel to 2011's Dead Island, hence Dead Island 2. First announced in 2014, this game has had a rough development period. The development team has changed three times before Deep Silver finally took over in 2019. Since then, there hasn't been much more info other than a few cryptic tweets and replies. Hopefully we get some more soon. Project Awakening It's never a good sign when you type Project Awakening into Google and one of the first questions that pops up is, is Project Awakening cancelled? 
Up until four weeks ago, there was good reason to be asking that question. But after seeing the latest engine footage and open world showcase, there's good reason to believe that Project Awakening is in fact alive. Atomic Heart A game that has had a controversial beginning. Back in 2018, the game had to be scrapped and the development had to be completely reset. Then in 2019, there was a report of a tumultuous nature of development with mass layoffs, poor project management, and a downgrade from the game's earlier builds. It was also said that the game development had been stuck in limbo, however the developer responded and said the development was indeed still on track. The Elder Scrolls 6 This game does exist, at least conceptually. Bethesda confirmed this back in 2018 at E3 after years of teases and community speculation. However, it will likely be years before we finally get to see anything substantial regarding The Elder Scrolls 6. Hang in just a little bit longer, my friends. Their tongue is Dovahkiin. Dragonborn. Prince of Persia Remake. Originally scheduled to release in January of 2021, this remake of the critically acclaimed game received backlash from the community that considered the graphics to be lackluster. The game was then pushed back to March 2021 and then postponing the release indefinitely to deliver a remake that feels fresh while remaining faithful to the original, end quote. Here's to hoping this one doesn't get lost in the sands of time. Metroid Prime 4 This highly anticipated sequel to the Metroid Prime trilogy, Metroid Prime 4, was first announced in Nintendo's E3 in 2017 with just a logo appearing on screen. It was then in 2019 that Nintendo announced they are rebooting the whole development of Metroid Prime 4, tapping Retro Studios to restart this project. So those are the top 10 games we think we've been waiting way too long for and cannot wait to get our hands on. Let us know what your top 10 are in the comments section below if you left anything out of this list. And be sure to follow and like Gameology and Gamers Forecast. <laughs>